Hi everyone, Al Bergallivanter here. You might be wondering what I'm doing in Aloha train station at this time of night, especially when it's absolutely pitch black. Well, I'm hearing some voices, which I don't really like the sound of, in the bushes over there, so I'm not going to be hanging around for too long. It might just be someone on the train, because the train's not departed to head back to Glasgow yet. But anyway, anyway, I have decided that I am going to be doing one or two train videos as well. The reason behind this, and I just want to get this off my chest, is I've been doing a lot of videos. Now, you guys seem to enjoy watching it. I do read your comments. I do reply when I can, and I do deeply appreciate them. I do deeply appreciate every single one of my subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to never miss a video. Anyhow, I should probably actually do that a bit more. Say that a bit more. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Getting to the point of the story. I'm planning to do a video crossing the fourth rail bridge and also the fourth road bridge and even the Queen's Free Crossing. This video will be called The Three Bridges Tour. And filming of that, I am planning for, I am planning for filming of that video to take place at some point next week. Now, I don't know when it'll be uploaded, because I'm looking to get some decent video software for my laptop. I'm sick fed up of producing these videos and it comes up with a watermark on the, on the actual video. So I've got a decent one on my phone at the moment. Hey, apologize, apologies, I don't have a GoPro camera or any of these other fancy devices. But, and at the moment I'm not in, a, my YouTube channel is not in a position where I can accept any sponsorship or advertising or anything like that. I'm not entirely sure what the rules are on that, I'll need to, I'll need to read that up on the website. But anyway, moving on. I'm not sure if my YouTube subscri subscribers channel list is listed or, or not. Excuse me. But, there are a few other people on YouTube who upload videos of themselves travelling all over the place. I do subscribe to them, and I absolutely love their videos. If you get the chance, check out a guy called Scott, who owns a channel called Planes, Trains and Everything. He basically travels all over Scotland, whether it be by land, by sea, by fit by air, he does it all. He's even done timetable challenges, he does the lot, to be honest. And he uploaded a video of himself walking around the Isle of Cymru. And I thought to myself, you know something, Gallivanter? That's something you could do. Because, let's face it, I could be doing with losing a bit of weight, getting a bit fitter. But at this time of year, it does get a bit dark. The weather's a bit unpredictable, so that could be something for the summer. He also does videos of himself travelling over Europe. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in a position where I can actually travel to Europe at the moment. I don't have a passport. I don't mind telling you that. It's not a secret. I've nothing to hide. Nothing to hide with that. Anyway, moving on. I also subscribe to a guy called Steve. Steve Marsh. And what he does is he travels all over Scotland with him and his girlfriend. Um, I can't remember his girlfriend's name, that's terrible. Uh, my apologies, Steve, if you're watching this video. I cannot remember your girlfriend's name. I am terrible at remembering names. And... Basically, he's travelled to a few places. He's travelled up to Aberdeen, he's done the ferry to Lerwick. He's done a video where he was travelling from... Uh, he was travelling by train, if I remember rightly, from Edinburgh to Aberdeen. Oh, no, it was Dundee to Aberdeen, I beg your pardon. And then he went he went by bus from Edinburgh to Dundee, train from Dundee to Aberdeen, another train to Inverness, a flight to Inverness Airport, 
a bus to Inverness Airport, and then a flight to Stornoway. From there, he got another flight back to Glasgow. Now, unfortunately, I can't do that sort of thing at the moment. I'm not in a position where I could do that. But maybe in a few months, you never know. Because I'm tending to focus more on the bus side of things at the moment. Would I like to do flights? Probably not, because I don't like flying. And I'm absolutely terrified of heights. Yep, one of my mistakes. One of my errors amongst you. I accept that. But, I will be doing a journey over the fourth rail bridge. And before I saw a video that Steve uploaded where he was travelling to Inverkeething and his girlfriend went up the fourth rail bridge on the lift. I maybe shouldn't, I shouldn't be spoiling all these videos, I do, do, do apologise. But uh, his channel is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> if you get a chance, go check it out. If you're not a subscriber to him, hit that subscribe button on his channel. I don't mind. I don't mind telling people who, must, who are subscribed to who I really enjoy watching as well. And also, I'm heading down to London next June or July, I haven't quite decided when, and we will redo that journey between Glasgow Pecan Street and London, because a Scott, the guy who owns the channel, planes, trains and everything, does that on his channel. And I can't remember what coach operator he travelled with, but... Um, after looking at Flixbus, I am not too keen on travelling with them because I do believe that their coaches are quite cramped. So I think we will be travelling probably with Megabus. Maybe National Express? Just depends on the cost. But I think it will be Megabus because we're doing... We're going to do the M20, which goes from Glasgow along to Edinburgh, down the East Coast and back. And if I can... Table wise, we will do the M11, which goes down the M74 motorway and then joins at the M6 straight down to London. It's M74, M6 calls at Preston, Manchester Airport, Manchester, and did we call it Birmingham on the way down? I can't remember. I think we did. I think we called it Birmingham Airport and straight on to the M40, straight down to London. I enjoyed London. I didn't really get a chance to see the place much, but I would probably go down, find somewhere a bit cheaper to stay, and then we can do somewhere. We can do somewhere that's reasonably cheap and go exploring because there's a few things I'd like to do down there. Might have a walk along the River Thames, walk over a few of the bridges, do the open top tour bus, see the Houses of Parliament, maybe even Downing Street. Uh, well, I think we'll leave Downing Street out of that at the moment because that's uh, the way things are going with Downing Street being a revolving door at the moment. You know what I'm talking about. But politics is not something that we talk about on this channel. Anyway, I've rabbited on long enough. I'm getting a bit cold now and I want to go home. So I'm going to go and try and get a taxi. So I shall leave you to enjoy the video of me travelling between Stirling and Alloa and hopefully we'll upload something I'll try and upload a few things tomorrow I'm not quite sure what that will be but we'll try and do something anyway I shall say adios and speak to you soon take care everyone and bye for now